widely adopted by security frameworks and organizations, CVSS is a cornerstone of effective vulnerability management. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned as we dive deeper into CVSS scores in our next segment. We'll take a look at an actual vulnerability and then we'll walk through how to use CVSS scores and give you some more information to help you use within your vulnerability management. So one of the things that I did want to spend just a couple of minutes to talk about is the concept of a CVE. So CVEs, as you can see here on my left, on the left side of my screen, there's one CVE here, there's another one, and then there's uh, a few of them. What CVEs are basically like the IDs that are attached to a vulnerability. So if you were to go into a vulnerability database and you wanted to look up uh, certain vulnerabilities, they usually are assigned with numbers. Typically they start with the year they were identified and then these other numbers um, sort of like uh, attached to them based on when and so forth and other parameters. Now, if you take a look at this, you can see that it says CVE 2013.3993. And as you can see, it was ideally identified in 2013. It looks like it was actually published in July 2014. Same here. If we look at this one, you'll see that it says 2010. That actually was published in 2010 and so forth. So they typically are applicable within the years that we find that the years that they were actually discovered and so forth so just wanted to talk about cves um briefly we'll cover this in another video entirely because this is a whole topic on its own that we'll cover in in a separate video